good morning students today we are going to discuss about different temples in india the chapter which we are going to discuss is about architectural structures previous day i had shown you some important structures of india today we will concentrate on temple constructions one of the important aspects of indian architecture you know temples are the places of prayer of hindu religion people go there pray and different rituals are held in temples so that rituals have to be conducted for that they need different places see important part of a temple is the garbha griha here in this it is given here inside this garbha griha means the place where the statue of god is kept and naturally when the statue of lord is kept that, that area will be most important and sacred place so the top part of the topest area of the temple will be over that so we call it a shikara this is this is shikara or tower shikara the tower area so here inside is the statue of god so just above that the highest top of the temple part of it and different kinds of stones decorations are done so all small small decorations so all these places then there is a hall because if more number of the people are there they can wait there but in temple sometimes during the king's period there would be place for dance cultural performances so that is there and the people who are going to pray in the temple can go around the garbha griha for that this one. it is pradakshina we call it pradakshina area go around the area where the statue of god is kept so that is one kind of ritual so that is there so here they used to go around like this the temple can they are temple areas and here the place where some of the people will be waiting for going inside or this is a place this is a entrance porch ardha mandapa it is called here and this area there will be sometimes cultural programs or people can wait here because sacred area is here so that is the temple can you see how beautifully carved out the temples are constructed that is a an important thing that we must understand during the uh, time of uh, temple constructions if you come to the another temple raj rajesh temple at tanjavur raj rajesh temple at tanjavur yes see this temple this a uh, Hmm. 
see the structure of tanjavur temple you see how beautifully it is constructed now you see the top of the temple is a shikara the top of shikara you can see a stone kept at the top of shikara and this stone is said to be of 90 ton See, ninety ton weight material is taken to the top of the temple and it is kept there. How it is constructed? How it is taken up? How it might have been? This is not easy. You know, one person cannot carry a, such a huge structure to the top of the building. even 2 3 persons cannot carry it or 10 people can 10 people how do you carry it to the top that is an important thing such a huge structure it is it should be taken to the top of the building that is important and it is being told this structure you see this top here the stone was rolled from a 4 km away like this it was rolled to the top around 4 km from here is he can roll you must understand here on what it is rolled or from this direction or what or 4 km away from they have started rolling the stone and when it is you must understand rolling the stone he cannot roll on the structure itself you must roll it uh, the structure you must roll it you must understand roll and when you roll you must understand you see this thing should not be destroyed so what to do first of all what they did what they did they reduce the size they have a, what they did they have a rolled around the building itself as the building construction was going on each step they have constructed another outer layer outer layer was constructed and inside the outer layer there was a uh, outside things and mud was put so naturally the mud as the mud was put naturally it was going up that is what they were doing it so here around they have put a, a another like this they have put so naturally the stone they could when the rich stone they were people could stand around the temple and take the stone and keep the stone over it means this is a first basement structure as a structure of construction was going on outside the structure main structure they constructed a wall like so mud was put in between so people could stand and construct the uh, building understand as the so what they did as the construction was going up step by step this outer layer was also constructed till the top so when the stone was rolled from 4 km away it is given in your test book and it would not uh, the, the demanded but the, that area now it is called the charu pallam there is a village was there from a village they have started to roll the stone till the top of the hill that village where the construction has taken place is called charupallam 
So that is the way they have constructed, the beautiful constructions. So keeping the stone. So four kilometers they are rolled. So as they roll the stone, they might have reached the stone here. You know, the structure when a stone falls into a structure, if it is not properly placed, you know, the structure will be destroyed. So they cannot bust, it is not a single stone carving. If it is a single stone carving, they can carve it from here. One single rock is there from they carve it. It is not a single stone carving. The stone carving is there in Maharashtra, Aurangabad. There is a temple, the stone carving. From the top it is carved out. But this is not like that. So it was from the bottom they were constructing. From here, keeping stone step by step they constructed. So naturally, it was reaching on the top, taking the stone to the top of the hill at this temple was very difficult. After all the construction is over, as I told you, outside layer, they have removed it. So mud was removed from the layer and naturally the structure came into existence. And these areas, mandabas and all the areas, they were constructed later part. So that is the way a temple was constructed. You see another temple, how beautifully it is constructed. People can move from one place to another inside. That is the way it is constructed. So the construction, the construction of the temple, it was beautifully done, you must understand. You see different temples of different times, different places you can see. Kajaraho temple. You can go to Orissa temple service. Temples in Orissa. Sipuri temple. You see the temples, you see other temple. See the temples. Different, uh, you see, Desa, to take blessings, you see the temples temples of in Orissa. These are all temples in Orissa. This is Konark, Sun Temple at Konark. You see, different temples, different parts of India. You see. There are different uh, temples that exist in India, in different parts of India. You see the architectural, how much effort is done by the human beings who have done it. It is not easy work, you must understand. See how beautifully stones are carved out and temples are made. How many days and hours, months and years they have dedicated for the construction of these temples. You see, different temples of India. You can see the temples, most important temples in Karnataka, you will see. Important temples in Karnataka, you see. Yes. See the temples in India, in Karnataka. This is in Hambi.
You see, temples in Karnataka. You can see. Different temples in Karnataka, different locations. You see, if you go to Hazen, you will find these kind of things. See how beautifully the temples are constructed. See this. In Hambi, you can see these kind of locations. See, these are that some of the temples that we, we see in Karnataka. See how beautifully the temple, mandavas, movements of the people, all these things we can see in this kind of place. Temples of Karnataka. If you go to Kerala, You see, the Trichur temple. They said, but now a Swami temple in, in Calicut, uh, sorry, in Toronto. Different temples. Different locations. See how architectural things are there, you see. Right? So like the temples are constructed in different parts of India for the people to pray, prayer, dedicate themselves to God. And you know, there are shikaras, mandabas, I told you. There are temples for North Indian style is there, South Indian style is there. There are different structures, different kinds of styles are there for the temples. That we must understand. Madurai Meenashi temple you might have seen. So you can see, if you go to Tamil Nadu, we can see more temples in Tamil Nadu. You'll just see the Tamil Nadu temples. See, Tamil Nadu temples. This is a Minashi temple in Madurai. See, different structures. See, different war sites. You see the architects. Artists see how much decorative it is, colorful, and how many days they might have taken for the construction of this temple. That is what you must understand. It is not easy for a construction of a temple, but it takes, you see how much they have worked hard. They have already seen this temple. See, the, you see the decorations and all this. For us, it is very easy to look and enjoy, but you see must how much effort the human beings have put up, you see, different temples. See, Madhuri Aminashi, Pragadeshwari temple, all see how the mandavas. These, you know, temples were the centers of cultural activities. That you must understand. That is the reason. The temples were centers, so cultural activities are going on around the temples. That is the importance of uh, temples in the, in the human life, you know. Now also, a village, People will go and sit around the temples. Village children will go and play around the temples. So a center of the activity in the village will be a temple. You take it, go to any temple of that time. That is a speciality of... Uh, then Nadra just the dances were there in the temples. So Tanjavur, different parts of India, different temples were there that you must understand the medieval period.
will that is it temples now we will see tomorrow the islamic structures that are come up during this period okay thank you very much